All right, guys, here's uh, what I did today and yesterday. I uh, cut those tines off and then grounded them to smooth them a little bit, and then I cut it to where I thought it would be uh, suitable. And then uh, now I just have to drill it. It fits the palm of that hand. It's going to be nice. I hope he enjoys. And I hope he gets a deer this year so he can try it out. All right, so now the next step is going to be to, to drill so that the uh, the knife uh, tang fits up inside there like I did the first knife blade and uh, yeah we've about got him fixed up and then I'm gonna it probably won't be this one but uh, I'll cut him off a tine and drill it for that ferro rod and that'll be next up the uh, knife sheath is due in sometime today so I'll have that, and uh, when his birthday rolls around on March 18th, we'll fix him right up. All right, I'll bring you back when I get something else done with it. I'm not going to, probably not going to go through a lot of details or anything. I may video drilling it. It's just kind of one of those things. People know how to use a drill and stuff, and this is... Not really a how-to video, just kind of a, a progress bro a blah, 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 blog. Anyway, you guys have a super day, and catch you, catch you in a little bit. All right, as you can see, I've got a uh, line marked on uh, how I want the, uh, the knife blade to set in there, and it just follows the, that shape right there. So I'm going to get that drilled, and uh, I'll drill it a couple of places, and then I'm going to have to cut this thing off, shorten it up probably about that much, which is fine because that epoxy I've got is really good. And then there's the little nickel or brass wicker bill that goes in between the blade and the handle. So it's time to get that drill. I, what I did was I took a drill and kind of matched it up with the uh, thickness of the... Uh, the uh, shank on that blade and now it's time to drill some holes all right see you in a few well, we've got a little ways to go yet just trying to waller that thing out once I get all that done then I'll uh, put it together with the epoxy and then once that epoxy sets up then I can actually uh, grind down the the antler to match up with the uh, piece of brass there. Alright, back at it. Okay guys, the next step is to uh, epoxy this little jewel and then uh, get after it with the grinder and take some of this down to kind of match it up with the, the brass uh, trim ring. And my uh, nephew will have, him, have himself a nice Mora uh, antler knife. Anyhow, I'll bring you back uh, after the epoxy dries. It's just that Gorilla two-part epoxy. You, uh, it's got uh, two tubes. You squeeze simultaneously. You depress the plunger simultaneously. And then you mix it up with the... Uh, Oh, a little stick or something, and then uh, put it down inside the uh, the groove. All right, guys, I'm going to get that done, and I'll bring you back when we got some more progress made. i got to go to the front door now because uh, the sheath is here, which is perfect because I, I can at least see if this is going to fit. I'll be back. Okay, that is a very tight fit. I uh, used uh, this cedar stick to uh, tap the ferro rod into the into the horn, and uh, 
because you got to be careful what you hit those with. Hit it with a metal hammer, and you're gonna. It could possibly strike up on you. But I want to see what else I can do. Uh, thinking about maybe hitting it with a blowtorch. But I don't know how the ferrule rod is going to react. So I've got to be really careful. Because that thing, when I tapped it in there, it's in there. To the point I don't really think I'm going to need to do any kind of epoxy. Which is probably a good thing. Uh, that way we could always clamp her down into a vise and tap that horn off the ferrule rod to replace the ferrule rod in the future if he uh, so chooses to use that quite a bit. Anyway, I'm going to get the blowtorch, kind of clean it up a little bit more, and bring you back when it's ready to slide into the knife case. Well, I finally found a use for that portable vise. Like I said, we gotta be careful. Cause I don't know, I don't know anything about a ferro rod as far as putting heat to it. But what I'm trying to do now is just add a little color back to that old bleached out horn. This is what I had to do with my uh, antler knife that I made myself. The very first one because it was it was bleached out and actually this uh, tine that I'm using it came off of that uh, ah, I don't even have my phone lined up. I suck as a cameraman I know probably why I don't have a bazillion subscribers got some cool projects I just suck as a cameraman but uh, I know I'm getting it kind of kind of blackened here and boy does it stink but uh, what I've discovered I can take that 220 sandpaper, hit it, and uh, it uh, softens that color back up. So I'm going to let that kind of cool down a little bit because that old, that old time is warm. But as you can see, it kind of brings some of the grainy texture back. And I'm going to hit it with that uh, 220 on that... Uh, sander right there and, and uh, we'll bring her back so all right let me take a pause just finished hitting it with the 220 it feels a lot smoother in my hand that thing is still really warm there's some darker spots in it but it'll be all right well i may hit those anyway kind of lighten it up a little bit but that's it and thankfully i mean it's still really warm to the touch and like I said, uh, like I said before, I'm not going to use epoxy. It's in there really tight, difficult to get out, and uh, it'll it'll make it easier to change out in the future. So anyway, give me just a few, and I'll uh, put it on the knife case and let you look have a look. All right, guys, here's the finished product. Ready to give to my nephew on his birthday on uh, the 18th of March. So this video is done way before it's uh, ready to be released. So anyway, when you guys finally see it, uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it. And I do in, uh, continue to invite everybody to subscribe to the channel. You guys have a great week. Catch you on the next video.